Well, as Alex always says to me, there's nothing quite like cutting your next door neighbour's grass. I do love grass. <laughs> Alex does love grass and <laughs> I mean lawn, lawn and um, <laughs> which, is why, lawn. which is why garden guru Jason Hodges joins us now from Alex's backyard in yeah. Sydney. What? Yeah. I hope uh, not cutting your grass. Jace. <laughs> <laughs> is that breaking news? <laughs> How are you, Jason? I'm, I'm good, Ali. I did make front medium strip this morning at 10 to 7 but with an electric mower so I didn't wake the neighbours up but I definitely didn't cut his grass. You know it is it is a thing it is a thing for blokes isn't it um, that we love we just love and some women as well but we love our lawns what is it about the attachment between surf and turf? I reckon it's because we we grew up in our backyards like you think of Australia and you talk about the beach or you talk about the outback but millions of us grew up in suburbia and I learnt more, whether it be sport or watching my parents or mucking around with my mates, on that lawn. So, as an adult, I want that same thing for my children and get them away from iPads and phones and get them outside onto the lawn. So, if you've got an existing lawn and you want to renovate it or if you've bit the bullet and you want to replace it, right now is the perfect time to be doing a little bit of work on your lawn and you'll get rewards for the next 12 months plus. Okay. The thing is, there are so many different types out there. Like, we've just put a bit of cooch down at our house. Um, oh, yeah. Which one's, a, like, how do you know which one's best for your backyard? Look, you start with Kaikuyu, which is probably the grass that's at your local park. Um, fantastic if you've got a tribe of kids and you park the car on it. Uh, stays green all year oh, round, so nearly awesome. in every part of Australia. But you'll be mowing it every five days in summer and it sends out really strong runners. The one that I like and we're laying here, Sir Walter, it's DNA certified. Now, it was so popular around the country, they had to DNA certify because everyone else was claiming to have the same grass. Oh. So you want to make sure if you're paying for Sir Walter, you're getting it from a lawn solutions grower. Um, they're all around the country and this is the idiot proof grass. So if you're fastidious, mow it every week, feed it four times a year and you'll have the best lawn in the street. And if you're busy and the lawn's just there because you've got a backyard, it's still a really great lawn. So if you're cutting grass, the take out of that is you have to have a DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> now, they, now, don't Jace, stick it up your, they don't stick it up your nose, but they actually check it under a microscope. I understand. Oh, nice. This is interesting stuff. So, so what are the tricks, the biggest, uh, the biggest tricks? I mean, this is Alex's place right now, but what are the, what are the best ways in order to, to lay it down? Because sometimes it can go awry in the first couple of weeks. A hundred percent. So if your lawn had failed and it had here, I would say it's because of compaction and because of drainage. So Alex has been very good. I've been tutoring him over the last week. He's turned all the soil over. I've, I've added some sand, some coarse river sand yeah. and some gypsum. And then underneath it, I'm putting in a launcher fertiliser. Now, this has got water crystals in it, which is similar to the stuff that's in our nappies for kids, for babies. Right. And so when you water the garden, it swells yeah. it up, holds it like a little tank of water under the, wa under the lawn, and then releases it when it's dry. We've laid over here, and I've put the sprinkler on straight away. What you want to do is as soon as you lay the turf, we it's thought it was going to rain today, actually, which would have been the best day to turf. But we've put the sprinkler on straight away, and so it won't go backwards. What you want to look for with a new lawn is that it never goes backwards. Babysit it for the first 7 to 14 days in spring, mm -hmm. and that's why it's perfect to do it now, because it's the shortest period of time. And if you've got a new lawn, just mow it one lower than what you'd normally do, feed it and water it, and in a week's time it'll look the best it's looked all year round. All right, you are a legend. That was beautifully said, mate. The turf king. Thanks, uh, well Carl. done, Jason. Uh, well done, Alex. It's nice. Thanks, mate. Yeah. We've done a lot of work yeah. in that garden. Yeah. A lot of work. And, and you've actually got proof, because I didn't quite believe you, but actually show your hands. Like, they, wow. they the are the working teddy bears man are looking hands. Good. Hey, well, look coming. at that. Well. Let's check that out. How manly. Hey, a lot of mannequin. <laughs> well. Well. Mannequin is First time those hands have done much work in a while. What? we got to go. Oh, thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, you're Alex. a legend. No, we had a good time. Was, we've done a lot of work. Sounds thanks like to it. Lawn Solutions, too. Sounds like we had a good time. Uh, next in the news at nine, we're following three...